Hey guys, Fear here, and welcome to episode 4 of the Hobgoblins book review for the Ninth Age. If you haven't watched episode 1, 2, and 3, please check those out as well. For this episode, we are talking about the special units, so let's get on to the show. Mountain Wolf Cavalry. Mountain Wolf Cavalry are standard cavalry on 25 by 50 millimeter bases, starting at 170 points for a 5-man unit, up to a 15-man strong for 12 points per extra model at a 2-unit limit per army. Their stats are as follows. Advance 8, March 16, Discipline 7, HP 1, Defense 4, Resilience 3, Arm 1, Light Armor and Shield. The Rider has Attacks 1, Offense 4, Strength 3, AP 0, Agility 3 with Iron Rain, Bows 4 plus with Lance. While the Mount has 2 Attacks, Offense 3, Strength 3, AP 1, Agility 3 with Feint Flight, Light Troops, Vanguard 6 inches. Command options are at 10 points each with no limit on Banner Enchantments. So I'm assuming that the MWC are going to be the Harassment Shaft Cavalry. I feel like they're going to be used to move up the field, take a few pot shots at choice targets to bait a charge and then flee away and regroup thanks to feint flight to take shots at another unit while theoretically they can hold their own in combat i feel like that's best left to our other units top cataprax one of the main choices for a hammer unit in the army the Hop Cataphracts are standard cavalry on 25 by 50 mm bases starting at 280 points for a 10-man unit up to 20-man strong for, 200, uh, for 22 points per extra model with a 3-unit limit per army. Their stats are as follows. Advance 7, March 14, Discipline 8, Scoring, HP 1, Defense 4, Resilience 3, Arm 2, Heavy Armor and Shield, the Rider has Attacks 1, Offense 4, Strength 3, AP 0, Agility 3 with Iron Rain, Weapon Master, Bow 4 Plus, Lance, and Paired Weapons. While the Mount has Attacks 2, Offense 3, Strength 4, AP 1, Agility 2 with Stomp Attacks 1. Their Command Options are at 10 points each with Unlimited Banner Enchantments. I believe that this might be one of my go-to units, especially with a total armor bonus of 5+, plus and a whole host of abilities. I feel like these guys will, on the approach will soften up their targets with their bows and iron rain, and then charge in the following turn, and with Weapon Master, you can either choose to deal massive damage to high HP units using lances, or reports to shreds with paired weapons, not to mention the attacks and stomps from the bear. I think this unit is the best choice to stick a cavalry commander with the Zartosh's chains and Predator Pennant to ensure maximum potential. Eternals. The Eternals are standard cavalry on 25 by 50 mm bases, starting at 245 for a 8-man unit, up to 15-man strong for 28 points per extra model, with a 3-unit limit per army. Their stats are as follows. Advance 7, March 14, Discipline 8, Scoring, HP 1, Defense 4, Resilience 3, Arm 2, Infernal Armor. The Rider has Attacks 1, Offense 5, Strength 3, AP 0, Agility 3, with Hobgoblin Scimitar. While the Mount has 2 Attacks, Offense 3, Strength 4, AP 1, Agility 2, with Stomp Attacks 1. Their Command Options are at 10 points each, with Unlimited Banner Enchantments. I feel like the Eternals compete with the Cataphracts for the same role. It only has slightly better stats in terms of offense and I think defense, uh, but that's not much of a difference in my opinion. Uh, let me check again. Yeah, no, just offense, not even defense. So they only have one point in offense as a major difference. So yeah. It's not much of a difference in my opinion. It has the Hobgoblin Scimitar, but it's a very niche weapon, best save for hunting specific targets. Yeah, you get the additional strength from the Scimitar, but again, not really that big of a deal, I think. Uh, yeah, you could probably do a lot more damage on large targets, large cavalry, large beasts, and gigantic, but like I said, for 
I'd rather take the bear, the hub cataphracts over Eternals any day of the week. Tusker Mahouts. The Tusker Mahouts are large cavalry on 50 by 100 millimeter bases starting at 400 points for a 3 man unit up to 5 man strong for 110 points per extra model with a 3 unit limit per army. Their stats are as follows. Advance 8, March 14, Discipline 8, Scoring, Fear, HP 3, Defense 4, Resilience 5, Arm 2, Heavy Armor. The rider, the three riders have attacks 1, offense 4, strength 3, AP 0, and agility 3, halberd. While the mount has 4 attacks, offense 3, strength 5, AP 2, and agility 2 with impact hits D3. With command options for 10 points each and unlimited banner enchantments. I feel like the Tusker Mahouts are another good hammer unit. And very likely their unit will be joined by a Shah on Tusker. Even at a minimum size, I feel like this unit will be difficult to get off the board. But it's still a 400 point unit and I'm worried about putting all our eggs in one basket. Between this and the Cataphrax, it's a tough call for me, really. Tyrannical Disciples. Tyrannical Disciples are standard infantry on 20 by 20 millimeter bases, starting at 135 points for a 20 man unit, up to 40 man strong for 8 points per extra model. Their stats are as follows Advance 4, March 8, Discipline 7, HP 1, Defense 2, Resilience 3, Arm 0, Light Armor, Attacks 1, Offense 3, Strength 3, AP 0, Agility 3. With Bodyguard, Drum Gog Gag, Devotees of Tyranny, Scoring, Devastating Charge, Plus 1 Attack, and Hatred. Devotees of Tyranny is a universal rule that says the model gains Fearless and Frenzy while engaged in combat. In addition, units consisting entirely of models with Devotees of Tyranny and, if applicable, a Drum Gog Gag may reroll failed charge range rolls in the charge phase. Their weapon options are one choice between Paired weapons or shields for free. Their command options are 10 points each with unlimited banner enchantments. I feel like the disi tyrannical disciples are in a strange place between hammer or anvil roll. I feel like it's going to be best used as shock groups, at least if I were going to use them. I feel like this unit can be run in 20 man blocks and use it to draw fire as it marches up the board during the first turns then charge something easy to kill and likely win especially if equipped with paired weapons giving you three attacks each for the block though i personally feel like the points for this unit are best spent elsewhere drum gog gag the drum gog gag is a gigantic beast on a 60 by 100 millimeter base at 220 points each with a zero to three unit limit per army its stats are as follows, Advance 6, March 12, Discipline 7, HP 5, Resilience 6, Defense 3, Arm 3, with Giant Drum, Musician, not a Leader, War Platform. With Offensive Stats for 4 Drummers at Attacks 1, Offense 3, Strength 3, AP 0, Agility 3, Equipped with Halberds. And for the Gog Gags, Offensive stats, we have attacks 4, offense 3, strength 5, AP 2, agility 2, harness. The giant drum is a universal rule that says the model must be deployed in and can only join blasted planes emissaries, hob levies, or tyrannical disciples units. The model can never voluntarily leave its unit. In addition, the range of the model's march, uh, the model's march to the beat and to enemy units that are required to take a march test due to the drum gog eggs unit are both extended to 12 inches. I'll be honest, I have no idea what to do with this guy. I know it's supposed to be a support piece, best used in conjunction with the tyrannical disciples similar to the shrine for DE, but I'm too much of a newbie to see what I myself can do with this. I hope you listeners can enlighten me on this guy's purposes. So that's it. This is the last episode in this series. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, please tell me down in the comments below. Tell me if you want me to backtrack on the rest of the armies or if you'd want me to never do this again.
As always, if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I also have a coffee page. I will have links in the description below. Please consider donating. Don't worry, I'll never hide my content behind a paywall. I will always publish my videos for free. Coffee just helps me put it out faster and hopefully better. Thanks for watching. Bye.